so now we want to be able to jump okay so uh let's go to behaviors you can see that things have changed a little bit here i guess we can go add new behavior platform character okay select that can grab ledges now uh every, we're going to leave everything as default and that works fine so now we need something for him to walk so let's add a new object a uh, new tile sprite I guess we could do that and we can um, select an image edit with Pascal yeah, that has a pretty cool sound name to that let's see let me make some sort of texture or something for Lemat not Mario I mean uh, for whatever name you guys select on the comments then that's what we're going to name this character okay it's not Mario, all right. Finipa Mario, all right. The ground, okay. So I think you hold shift, uh, you get a straight line. No, you don't, son of a gun. How dare you, how dare you trick me like that. Yes, this could be like these. I could make a lone brick like this. Uh, wait a second, wait a second. Make some sort of rocks or something. Make some rocks. Making rocks is fun. Now if you've been following this channel for a while, you notice that we use a lot of game engines and different tools and all kinds of stuff. We try out just about everything. We have no bias for nobody. Okay. All right, all right, okay. Looks not too bad there. Uh, paint that in between there with some sort of lighter color. Try to keep it in the same color range as the the character. Let's see it right there. Will people be able to tell? Uh, probably not. And if they can, well, they probably won't mind. All right, let's see. Make some cracks here. Cracks in the rocks. Uh, let's see, maybe I can add something darker here in the middle. Shade it a little bit. I could add some green to this. Make it look like it's very old. I don't want to go too crazy with this, but um, a lot of people don't know, but I record a lot of this stuff on Monday, Monday and Tuesdays, and I um, release it uh, the day after. Okay, uh, that's not entirely terrible there. It doesn't need to be perfect. Okay, so let's save it, apply it. Click on it and let's bring it in here. There's our tile background. Now if you run this, you'll notice that nothing happens. Okay, so we have to um, give this object um, a property, a behavior. Okay, let's add a behavior. This is going to be a platform um, object and click that and now let's try it out and we have a platformer game yeah actually we can bring in more pieces from the same kind of material You can enable a um, snap to grid too if you wanted to. Let me go to scene properties and let me change the background to something else, maybe blue. 
but like a sky. There we go, you can make your own platformer game for free. And by the way, this exports to, uh, to Windows natively, okay? It doesn't need any plugins, it doesn't need anything. It just needs you to make the game. Supports anything that um, you will expect in any game engine out there, including Game Maker or Construct 3. The only difference is that it's free, okay, and it has no official support. But uh, this has a big online community uh, support, okay, including Le Sparkman. So if you have a problem, make sure that um, you leave a comment down below. Okay. Now, if we want to turn around, okay, um, 